This season on The Amazing Race, we are celebrating 25 seasons, our silver anniversary, when these 11 new teams get a chance for a life-changing adventure and the opportunity to win $1 million. Adam and Bethany, newlyweds from Hawaii. Bethany is famous for having been attacked by a shark and coming back from that experience, losing an arm and still carrying on surfing and being such a strong role model for young women. In fact, there was a film made about her life. Sometimes having one arm, we'll have to be very picky on which roadblocks I do and which roadblocks Adam does. Maybe I'll get really creative. Kim and Allie from New York City. We're on the go nonstop. And this time it's all the way to first place. One thing I get from so many women when we tell them about our like bike touring, it's not safe for a girl, you're not strong enough, or you can't defend yourself. And I don't think it's true. I would love to inspire some other women watching. Amy and Maya from Madison, Wisconsin. We're here to show the world that scientists are so much more than lab coats, beakers, and goggles. Let's get it on! Typically, scientists are portrayed as these really nerdy, awkward people. Oh my god, I don't know how to socialize. I don't know how to talk to people. And in reality, scientists are so much more than that. Right. So part of this is also showing people that like we can have personalities. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah, so out of control. Brooke and Rob. We're professional wrestlers, and how we dominate in the ring. We're going to dominate on the ring. Yeah. I think we stand out because we're both pretty loud and obnoxious and <laughs> confident. When people hear professional wrestlers, it's something that I think intrigues them. Throw that in with our good looks, and I think we're a perfect fit for the show. <laughs> He's not conceited at all. Shelly and Nisi from Detroit, Michigan. We are mother, daughter, flight attendants. Not many women joined the Army at 37. She was in the Air Force Academy at that time as well. There weren't any loser pity teams chosen this time around. Exactly, right? <laughs> they all seem physically capable. So it's definitely going to be a stealth mission for us. Right. To but not... it'll definitely be an even sweeter victory when we knock them all out. <laughs> Keith and Whitney. We're uh, former Survivor Castaways, and our motto is going to be really just to run the race and then run down the aisle. Survivor, even though we met and fell in love there, we still were against each other. So this time we get to play together. Lisa and Michelle from Miami, Florida. We're the top realtors in Miami. We have a very rare bond. There's not many sisters that are best friends and business partners. So we're literally together 24 seven. It really will translate well to be supportive of each other in the race. Tim and TJ from California. We stand out as a team because we're the same sex, but we're also, I don't know, dating. We're cute, we're young, we're pretty successful for our age. We have our first home, we have two dogs. Michael and Scott, Boston Proud. We're juggernauts, an unstoppable force. True justice in the American way. I take nobody uh, lightly. There are some people that maybe have skills that far outweigh us. In the end, things like tenaciousness and resilience win the day. Misty and Jim. Dentists from South Carolina. We're the total package. The other teams don't stand a chance. Certainly not in the teeth department. Our biggest risk is that we self-destruct. If we're at odds with each other, we're gonna fall apart. When right. we're working together, There's we're, nobody. we're unbeatable. We're unstoppable. Yeah. Dennis and Isabel from California. We may not be the biggest team, but we're the scrappiest. And we're gonna scrap our way to the finish line. Yeah. My family, um, immigrated to the U.S. from Vietnam during the Vietnam War. And my family escaped the Cambodian genocide. They've come from very traumatic experiences compared to what they've been through. If they can do that, you know, we can most certainly do this. 11 new teams coming this fall with a brand new time slot, Friday night at 8 o'clock on CBS.